Hello everybody, I'm Scott Dragon and welcome to another Blueprint Spotlight. Today we'll be looking at the VC Cruiser by Gropscope. Gropscope? Gropscope. I know my username isn't the easiest to pronounce sometimes, but Jesus Christ people. It's really going to pick the hardest. Dyslexia not friendly. Now, this is a modless ship and it runs pretty it runs well, it runs on everything. So I've had to have loaded this up in a development build and a stable build, no problems. So that's always nice. Now as a cruiser, it has well every kind of vanilla gun possible. It has a love well stuff we'll these here. We have missiles, we have gallons, and now I love just the way this ship is. I love I don't know, something about me, I like ships that are more vertical than horizontal. Something about them I, I just like, you know. The Halo ships are very cylindrical, are very box-like. Uh, usually it adds more rectangle, so you've got this big nice side profile. Where I like ships with the nice move, so it's more like the Defying or the ships I saw in like Babylon 5. Well, at least the alien ships in Babylon 5, the Earth cruisers kind of look like uh, boxes or with thrusters on the back. Now, you can see through the glass there, nice bridge and, well, what, six front missile, front facing missiles, what is a decent amount of gunnage. Gatlins, missiles, you know, the whole works. Hidden, kind of nicely in place inside this, uh, the armour, what I like. I really do like this, uh, I don't know if the ribbing's the right term, but, yeah, there's tons of little details in the ship that I really like. You do need to add, you no one needs to add, don't form any function bar making the ship look really cool. You know, you've got, uh, lights on the end of these. What, what are these? What are this? What, what does it go here? Oh, they're wheels! Oh, that's really nice! I'm very, that's very cool! I don't know how Clang's gonna react to that, but... Uh, that's, that's really cool! Ribbon all the way down, you've got the oxygen conveyors, the uh, creators there. A little oxygen farm on the outside of the ship, but probably just a little bit. But nice features, antenna. At the back, you've got, what, six ion and two hydrogen boosters, was always nice. Decoy blocks on top of merge, so yeah, if you're getting trailed, these could be nice to take some fire if they start working correctly. I wonder... Ooh, I wonder... <laughs> Look, he's got a welder here and a projector here, so it's going to probably produce. So you could actually chuck out tons of these if something's trailing you fire missiles. Ooh, that's, that's a nice idea. I like it, that's a nice idea. Some nice Gatlins for defense underneath. It's kind of repeated on the top. So, let's head inside. Alright, straight inside. And, oh god, we're right beside the assem assembler. Right on the front bridge. A little turret for defense. So that's a very... At first when I came on, I was like, this is an extremely exposed bridge, and you get your med bay, if I'm trying to find it, it's going to die in seconds, but it's been fought off. <laughs> and there's even camera link-ups all the way around the outside, so if you couldn't see and you didn't have third person, you can still look outside without any problems. So I love that, you'll be like, oh, we're in combat, combat, everyone, everyone close the doors, but that is the front bridge. And you Continue through the bridge, we've got timer blocks. Because the interior of this is literally solid. The interior of the ship is solid with heavy armor. And we have the secondary bridge back here with all the same controls. You got gun controls here, you got the gravity generator up there. And we'll just jump on you. And you've got all the controls here so we can get up the speed. Now, it is actually a quite fast little ship. You know, for a large ship, I've a lot of acceleration curves are not the great, but this, on the other hand, actually really nice acceleration curve, especially with the hydrogen thrusters on. Let's do a nice little spin. No, let's see if we can get. Oh, I went to the camera. That was the wrong thing. Uh, where was it? Where was it? I had it a second ago. Now I've lost it. Merger block. Where's the merger block? Ah, oh, I had it. When I did my pre look at it, I had it. God dang it. But I had it earlier, and you can actually chuck out those uh, things at the back, were quite nice. Now, I I like this. I really do. I like this design. I'm working on a kind of defiant based design right now, and that 
this really uh, kind of made me think of that. Uh, it's just a nice little ship, and uh, again, completely vanilla. And I love vanilla ships. Anything that's vanilla uh, makes me happy because you don't have the problem. Like, I, don't get me wrong, I use a lot of mods in my ship, but being able to just go and just load in any world is very handy. And I'm pretty sure this is a nice, easy load in any world and actually do a lot of damage. So you could load this in any world, even if it's got mods on it, build it up and then add the mods to it later. Don't just slow it down. And it actually stops reasonable. I think it's got four thrusters on reverse. So it stops reasonable, but I always prefer just to do the old flip around and use my main thrusters. For maximum stopping power. So guys, that's the VC Cruiser, so just a quick look at it. It's on the workshop, it's actually on the front page of the workshop right now, so you should guys all have a little look at it. It's a nice ship. Again, that is a nice rear nacelles, I really love that angular design. So again, hopefully you guys all enjoy it, have a look, maybe it'll inspire you to build a cool little design. And remember, if you want another ship looked at in uh, a little spotlight, please link it to me on my Discord or on my YouTube channel. I will look at it. And it'll get added to the list. So the list is starting to get a little big and a little scary. So I'm Scott's Dragon and I'll see you all later.